If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. We recall from this chapter that the resistance of a wire can be related to temperature using the following equation. And that would be true for both the copper wire as well as the tungsten wire. Notice that the symbol for tungsten is W and the symbol for copper is Cu. Now because the question states that they have the same resistance, what we can do is take the expression for the resistance of the copper wire and set it equal to the expression for the resistance of the tungsten wire. So let's do that. Now in both expressions, notice that we changed T minus T0 to delta T. It turns out that that will help us as we try to solve this question. Now this question depends on some pretty heavy algebra, so fasten your safety belts and we'll get going here. What we're going to do first, since we have a multiplication of R0 tungsten, we're going to divide both sides of the equation by that term. So we'll do that on the right and we'll do that on the left as well. And of course on the right they'll cancel out. Notice on the right side we can now drop the brackets. Next, we're going to take this fraction and distribute it to both the 1 and to this term right here. We will next subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. And then we will subtract this entire term from both sides of the equation as well. So it's basically just moving that term over to the right side. Next, notice that both terms on the right side have a delta t term, so we can factor it out. The multiplication of delta t by this red bracketed term means that we could divide both sides by that red bracketed term and that way on the right side it will cancel out and leave just delta t. We're almost there. Delta t can be now resubstituted with t minus t0 so that we can then add t0 over to both sides of the equation. And so we've done it. We've isolated T, which will represent the temperature at which these two wires have the same resistance. We just have to figure out where to plug in numbers into all these symbols here. Now the 20 degrees Celsius is going to serve as our reference temperature, so we're going to end up plugging that in right here. The resistance of copper at that temperature was 5 ohms, so that's going to go in right here. And the resistance of the tungsten at that temperature was 4.75 ohms, so that's going in here. They will also go down in the denominator terms as well. These alpha values can be looked up in a table. Remember that these are the temperature coefficient of resistivities and there should be a table in your chapter that gives the value for both tungsten and copper. So here are all the known values plugged in. You probably want to pause the video and just confirm that all the numbers went in their respective places and that it makes sense. But when we crunch down this entire quantity on our calculator we should get approximately 1.5 times 10 to the power of 2 degrees Celsius, and that will indeed be the temperature at which the two wires have the same resistance.